Alrighty guys, so in my last video, I outlined ways for American players to go professional and play volleyball in Europe. And I got a lot of responses from you guys saying, that's all well and good, Kira, but what if we're an international student? How do we get into college in the first place? And that is a great question. So in this video, I'm gonna outline just how you can get a scholarship to play volleyball at an American school or university, even if you are not an American player. Hey guys, if we haven't met, which is entirely likely, <laughs> right now I'm just a stranger on the internet talking at you. <laughs> My name is Key Michael and I've been a professional volleyball player for about 10 years. I don't know why I said about, it's been exactly 10 years. I've played 10 seasons overseas. <laughs> I played in Germany, Italy, Turkey, and now France. But before that, many, many moons ago, I was a student athlete at the University of Miami, a division one school with top-notch athletic facilities as well as academics in the stunning city of Miami, Florida, US of A. If you look up Miami in a dictionary, you'll basically just see a picture of a palm tree. It is gorgeous and it was a fantastic place to study and play. But enough about me. This video is about you and how I can help you get from where you are today, which I'm guessing is probably just in your bedroom somewhere or on your computer or on your phone, hoping that I'll just hurry up and get to the point already. <laughs> how I can help you get from there to playing volleyball, hopefully on a scholarship at a university or a college in the United States. I've got five steps for you, so let's just dive right in. The first step is timing. You want to plan well enough in advance if you want to get seen by college coaches. You cannot wait until you graduate high school to start thinking about this process because there's only a certain number of spots on each team and if you wait too long those will be taken and also you can lose eligibility if you wait until after you graduate. So ideally you want to start thinking about this at least one year before you graduate and maybe even up to three years and beyond that. Number two, play at the highest level. No matter what age you are or how far along you are in your development, you want to be sure you're playing at the highest level possible in your area. So that means joining a club, that means playing on an older team, that means doing camps in the summer, anything you can do to get your volleyball, anything you can do to get your volleyball level as high as possible, because the better you are as a player, the more options you're going to have when you come to choose the school that is right for you. Number three is video footage. Get in the habit of filming every single match you play from as early as possible. As soon as you decide you think you might wanna go play pro, or sorry, as soon as you decide you might wanna go play in college, start getting video footage of all of your matches. Like I mentioned in my last video, you can get a friend, a family member, or even a coach to just set up a video camera behind the court of the match that you're playing. The more footage you have, the more footage you're gonna be able to choose from when you're making your highlight video. And you just never know when you're gonna have an absolute ripper match and you're gonna score all of the points and get all of the kills and do all of the things. <laughs> So make sure you're filming as many matches as possible. And ultimately, coaches from the US are not likely to see you playing live. So all they're gonna have to make their decision about you is video footage. So it's really important that you have high quality and high level video footage. Number four, <laughs> study. I'm sorry, this is a really boring one, but it's super important. In the US, players are not professional. They're student athletes. So your school is equally as important, if not more important, then you're valuable. And your performance in school now is an indicator of how you're going to perform in university and your coaches are gonna be looking at that. A lot of coaches might even implement a minimum GPA, which means if you don't hit a certain level of academics in university, you're not gonna play. So you gotta keep up your grades. You gotta show coaches that you are gonna be reliable in your academics. So work hard to get good grades now in school so you can have good transcripts to show potential coaches when you come to apply to college. Number five, English exams. <laughs> it should come as no surprise to you that if you want to go and study and live in the United States, you're probably gonna have to learn English. All of your classes, your exams, your coaching, even your socializing, it's all gonna be in English. And I don't mean that to scare you, it's just a reality. I had a teammate this year who is from Puerto Rico and she went to study at the University of Arkansas and she told me that the first month she just didn't even speak to anyone because she wasn't used to speaking English. But obviously as time goes by, she got more comfortable and now she's 100% fluent and the same will happen for you. But before you can get admitted, you're going to have to prove your proficiency with those English exams. So make sure you work on that while you can as well. Guys, the recruiting process does not happen overnight. You're gonna have to put in a bit of work, but I promise you it will be worth it. University in the US, it's 
It's an experience unlike anywhere else in the world and I'm sure that you won't regret it. But having said that, you wanna do it right. So my recommendation is to get connected to an expert. So my friend and fellow Team GB Olympian, Mark Plutzer, he was a professional player for many years and since retiring, he's founded an agency called Tiebreak and they specialize in helping international students get recruited to US universities to play volleyball. So he's gonna help you take the right exams, get the best scores. He's got an in-house editing team that will help you with your videos. He'll basically help you create a long-term career plan using volleyball as a tool to get the best possible education for your future. Ultimately, he has the best connections with US coaches and universities to make sure that you find the best fit for you. You get the best deal possible as a player and as a person. So I really hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions at all, you can always reach out to me on Instagram. I'm happy to help budding volleyball players. And I will leave all the information for our tiebreak agency in the description box below. And if you do reach out to Mark, make sure you say hello for me. You're making a great choice for your future and send me a postcard. When you do get recruited to university and you're sitting in your dorm room thinking, oh, I'm living my best life, send me a postcard, tell me how it's going. I would love to hear from you. Oh, be so proud. <laughs> Guys, if you want more volleyball content like this, hit the subscribe, hit the bell to get notified when I make new videos. If you leave me a like, it really goes a long way to help the video get out into the universe and have more people see it. I've linked a playlist at the end of this video called Introduction to Life as a Pro Volleyball Player if you're curious about life as a pro volleyball player or behind the scenes, college versus pro, anything to do with volleyball. Got a bunch of videos, just check them out on the rest of my channel. Until next time, bye.